that you want to get in your ear because that's the basic sound for gospel music and primarily traditional gospel music. Example 20C. Now if we go on to 21A, these, these are the same thing basically. You can, you can do all kind of things on the bass, bass line to, to add variety to these. Pedal G, etc. Chapter 3, chord functions. Now all of these chords, the, the tonic, subdominant and the dominant, they all have pr primary functions in gospel music. And I wanted to go chord by chord by chord. That's what I did to analyze gospel music. So I, I went from the, the uh, tonic to the supertonic to the median, uh, subdominant, etc. We're gonna go to the median, the three chord right now. Page 12, example 22A, here's the three. Notice that's beginning the tonic in root position. We mainly want to start not in root position, but one of the inverted forms. Etc. Example 22B, you can still use that median chord. sounds 22c etc if i use the median in 12 8 time or just subdivide i can do something like um, Example 23B, the 6 to the 3 progression, this is very, very prevalent in gospel music. See what I'm doing there? The 6 to the 3 to the 4 to the dominant. So I'm adding a few extra notes here and there. Take a listen to this, and I know you'll, you'll know uh, this song here. Now, this is example 24A. The median may also be used as a substitution for the tonic or dominant triad. And that's shown in example 24B. The three chord is used to substitute the tonic chord in 24A, etc. Um, and all of these, let's, let's go on. Let's go on to page 16. If you take a look at page 16, example 26C uses the sixth chord in the cadence 62151. This is also a very common progression in gospel music. So you have. So if I want to do something, see how that works? You have that traditional gospel sound there. 28A, this demonstrates a sixth chord used as a substitution for the tonic. This adds variety as well as a sense of conclusion to the song. similar to that. Um, function of the leading tone, page 17, seven diminished chord, you have something like, or you invert, or, etc. 
cetera. So you see what happens there? And so those are all the chord functions that are in unit one. And I'm going to, uh, we're gonna take a minute and we're gonna go to Gospel Music Performance Practice and Technique Volume 2. And I'm gonna show you how some of these chord functions are, are uh, put to practice in an actual song or hymn, Oh How I Love Jesus. Let's take a minute and then we'll go to, to the next book. <laughs> 